Hello everybody, welcome back to Phantasm Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be playing the Cage Garden Cock Robin. Uh, so this is a nice little um, horror-ish theme game that I found on the Steam... Steam, wow. Okay, that's not what this is. This is a Switch. <laughs> um, and... It was just one of the things that I found while playing around on the store, so... Uh, the art appealed me, and just the fact that I thought it was based on nursery rhyme was really weird, and I wanted to check it out because of that. So let's just hop right into it. I hope you guys are going to appreciate all the wonderful voice acting by me. Uh, let's see. Did you hear about where Ra Robin serves? Yeah, I heard. The castle of Lord Waldstein, right? A doomed count magic. That the servants are freaks, a nest of cold blooded monsters. Because high wages were paid, the doctor was so... Do wow, I can't even finish words. Poor Robin. Will she be able to go back from the castle alive? I should just wait to finish, shouldn't I? Go back? To where? We don't have a place to go back to, right? Yeah, you're right. Dot, 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 dot. More dots. Proceeding to give more dots. Dots again. I was unfamiliar with the room. The smooth texture of the cloth, the soft texture touching the back of my head, the beautiful feeling above me. After a few heartbeats, I realized I was lying down. A mysterious floating feeling and tiredness made me feel dizzy. I somehow couldn't wake up, so I looked around. My head slowly became clearer. I... Okay, I need a voice for this. Um. Wow, he woke up. <laughs> That's so fucked. <laughs> uh. Good morning, how are you feeling? Do you feel alright? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, can you stand up? Are you fine? Glad to see you standing up. Are you hungry? Do you want something to drink? Well... Hmm? The girl, who had been interrupted, was confused and angled her head. I felt sorry, but I needed to ask one thing first. Oh, 
Huh. They don't seem like neutral choices enough? Um, sure, where am I? Well, where am I? Ah, I see. Don't you remember? You don't remember anything at all? No. It's Robin's room. Dot dot dot. By the way, I'm Mosca. Mosca? Mosca. Yeah, we're just gonna go with Mosca, sure. Dot dot dot. What should I do? She's a little bit weird. I was confused as to what's a reply. I will explain to you. Wow. There was an old lady standing straight. She tied her beautiful white hair back and looked at me with her dignified eyes. Nice meeting you. Wow, that is not what an old woman sounds like. Um, I to think about that one. Cold facial expressions and thin body. She is a woman, like a knife made from white stone. How am I supposed to announce that? I am re who re We're just gonna call her Reru. I am the chief maid here in this castle. Do you know your name? Can you explain where you came from and what you had been doing? Name. Situation. I am Robin. From the Weed Orphanage, I came to this castle to work for the Macer. Yes, I was brought by a teacher by a horse cart. What is after that? You look like you are conscious. This is the castle. The person you work for lives here. <gasps> you suddenly fell down as soon as you arrived here and got changed change. too much tiredness and turbidness and then the lack of nutrition yes they are why can't you immediately explain this simple thing I am sorry. I found out what I have done and bound in a hurry. I am sorry. I troubled you. No problem. The master is too busy care about such a small thing. Switch views from one screen to the other and wow it's so much harder to read I've been reading off the capture and it was so much easier <laughs> as I expected from her first impression her reply was directed sharp since you're awake let's go and meet the master yes I forgot to do her voice that entire round me too, I will go with you. 
Alright. Is that what she sounded like? There's only three characters and I forget their voices. You don't need to declare everything one by one. Sorry. Lord Dave Juan Waldstein. The Lord who doesn't like people and never goes out of the castle. I heard that he devotes himself to magic and offers the blood and meat of women and children at the altar every night. He transforms maids into freaks. I heard he stopped being human by abusing black magic. In fact, he is really a demon. Dot dot dot. Excuse me. Sir, Robin is awake. I keep changing your voice every line. Wait, this is a master of the house. Okay, um... And he's a demon. Common. No, that was probably excessive. Let's see what he looks like first. Ah! <laughs> oh, boy. Um... You see, now I just want to make him sound overly flamboyant. This person. A towering giant, long slender limbs, black clothes. And then, a bandage covering his face. It colors all of his exposed body parts. It colors them real well. <laughs> uh, I can't read. <laughs> Is it because I heard a rumor that he is very well in black magic? Needless to say about his appearance, I felt that his atmosphere and his presence was different from normal. In not such a polite way, I froze. From behind the chief maid, Riru gave me a short look. I found myself in a hurry and said hello. How do you do? I came from the Vade Orphanage. My name is Robin. Dot dot dot. Thank you for hiring a woman like me of a humble birth. I haven't decided what I want to do for him yet. Get out! His voice was like he crawled out of hell. <laughs> yes, that is the voice of a man who has crawled out of hell. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> That's enough! Get out! Well... Didn't you hear I said get out? Uh -huh. I'm very sorry. What can I do? As soon as I arrived here, I enraged him. Well, you must be angry with me because I lost consciousness. I couldn't see his facial expression because he was covered by bandages, but the voice apparently included an angry feeling. I think I demonstrated that very well. With his appearance, his voice made me concerned that I was going to be strangled to death. <laughs> 
Or did I do something else? Am I going to be fired? If I needed to leave here, I... Master is a moody person. Excuse me? Probably he was in a bad mood at a time. That happens a lot. Get used to it. I didn't want it to happen often because it's bad for my soul. Depends on his mood. Is that all? Really? By the way, Robin. What did you hear do this castle? Well... I heard that it's a wonderful place in which an admirable lord lives. You don't need to be polite. I will tell you directly. Do you know the rude rumors that commoners who are skilled only in having loose tongues spread for the fun of it? I heard it a little. Everyone at the orphanage talked about it. I see. Then, I wish you're a clever woman who doesn't accept such a reckless remark without questioning. Dot dot dot. I have something to do, so, Mosca, you are in charge of this. No clumsiness. What was your voice again? Are you alright? Uh, well, yes. In contrast, the two anxious pupils are looking at us. I totally forgot about the other person because I was upset, but there was one more person following us. Don't worry! Both of them are kind so they won't hit you. Well, Mosca? Why are you so nervous calling me? Please don't hesitate to call me Mosca. Okay? You and I are the same age, so Robin and Mosca, you can talk frankly. The girl, Mosca said so, and then she cackled. Her way of speaking and smile made her look younger, but it seems we are the same age. So, Mosca? Yes, that's good. That's the best. Mosca nodded like she was satisfied, and then she took my left hand. I'll show you around the castle. Let's go. Uh, aren't we scolded if we run? My hand is taken by Mosca, who is in a good cheer. I'll take a corresponding step. Like children who go out to play, we start running in the corridor. Um, so that's it for the prologue. Um, I think I'm going to end here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.